Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the scene Tarot. Um, we're going to get into it, okay, and see what we have for you. So this is going to be for Gemini's no contact for you, the person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you. All right, so Gemini's, how are you? How are you guys doing? Okay, I hope that everybody is doing really, really well. Um, we're going to tap into it and see what we have for you today. These are all general reads, not personal ones. So take what resonates and throw out the rest. And let's see what we got. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Divine God, Ancestors. Thank you for being here for Gemini's. What is the energy for Gemini's? This person that is coming through for Gemini, no contact read. What is the energy? Wow. The first thing you have is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. One thing I'm realizing is like a lot of Pentacles, stability, or the need of stability. A lot of loss too within that stability. This could be someone that you're with and everything was going very well. And then this person lost their job or lost their way of, you know, income got demoted i'm seeing like you could have met at work as well i just feel like your relationship was definitely learning from each other but there was like an energy of just given and this person was taken a lot so we have the devil's energy coming up capricorn for those of you that are dealing with the capricorn major arcana we also have the seven of wands energy as well okay then we have the ace of pentacles is this the ace no this is the wheel of fortune wow looking at it this far away i'm just like oh <laughs> this could be a pentacles but it's the wheel of fortune and it does look like the wheel of fortune but bear with me you guys this is a new deck haven't used this in a, in a minute i think i used it like once or twice um wheel of fortune in reverse so this is a cycle that you're facing or this could be a car a karmic balance that needs to be adjusted okay as well i feel like you have the lesson card here and then you have the wheel of fortune in reverse so there's something else that needs to be experienced between you and this energy i'm seeing like there's something that you have learned but there's something else that you guys need to learn from each other. Because the Three of Pentacles is in the upright, like you have learned the lesson where this person has learned from you. And I feel like it's about working with other people. Like you have taught them to like trust others again, or it's okay to include others. And this is so you, Gem. You're such a people person, so I'm not even surprised. But now that you need this person to show you or to share with you that similar energy, not that you need it, but it's just the energy of just giving you that credit. This person is not there. I'm also seeing some form of addiction, okay? Or some kind of toxic way of living this is what i'm seeing here and i feel like this person wants a way out like they've been stuck into this situation for a while because you have the devil here even though it's in reverse it's like they have been stuck into this situation for a while and they want to get out of this um but i'm seeing that seven of wands like they want to get out of this but they want that control, you know? They don't want no one to have like have the power have 
power over them to get out of this situation. It's like I always tell people like when someone has some kind of addiction or some kind of toxic situation that they're going through, this could be their family, this could be their friends, this could be just the way they live. And they've been doing it for so long, they have to want to get out. This could be the environment and you're trying to get this person out of there um, and have them come stay with you to start a new life because you know what the results are, where they are, okay? And I'm seeing like you're trying to just help them, but they're not budging. <sighs> like they're not budging fast enough and they need to be in control. And I'm seeing like the control comes from yeah, this devil's energy, but also Leo beside it because Leo rules the seven of wands energy. And that's a lot of ego, a lot of masculine too. A lot of fire energy. So tell me more. I'm also seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Wow, there's a lot of pentacles coming through here. Alright, so you have the Five of Pentacles as, as well. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Look at all these Pentacles. You have the Six, the Seven, the Three, the Five, the Eight. My goodness. I wonder why I was saying Pentacles earlier with the Wheel of Fortune because there, this has to do with a lot of stability. Look at that. The Five is like, again, about stability about your home, about financial situations where you're going through some kind of hardship. A lot of you could be facing homelessness because of this person. Like their decision making too, the way they make decisions, it's like putting you in a tough spot. And then I'm seeing the seven here. So whatever you invested or prepared, it just didn't happen. Whatever you planned, it just didn't happen. A lot of you wasted a lot of money because you made a lot of bad decisions because you trusted this person's energy. Oh my gosh. And then you have the lovers. You have the emperor as well. So Aries energy, Gemini energy here within the lovers. You also have the moon within Pisces as well. And you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So I'm just getting a lot of deciding to let this go. This is what I'm seeing here. After all this trials and tribulations, it's like you're listening to your angel guides. You're listening to your intuition. You're trusting your heart within the, the moon energy. There was just a lot of secrets. And you just feel like, you know what? <laughs> I'm never going to fig figure out this person's energy within the moon. I'm not going to figure them out. But I'm seeing this emperor. Like this person is showing up as defeated and also stuck. I'm trying to get this up. Defeated and stuck. And this is also giving me family vibe situation as well. Like this could be about all the way back, going back within their family tree, not having that control when they were younger. And now that they're adults, they, it's like, that's all that I want. I'm never going to let someone else you know have control over me so but I'm seeing like they want to get out of whatever they got going on but they have to do it they have to put in the work there's a separation here confirmed so I'm seeing like there is a deep connection that you were experiencing with this person but then you you just end up going through all this loss with this person's energy all of this loss, even the five of pentacles is something that you're going to have to deal with over and over again. It's the hardship. That's the constant vibration, which is in the five of pentacles for you. It's like being used, you're feeling used, you're feeling abandoned too. Um, this person can just choose people over you right off the bat and just be okay with that. Like it's no big deal, you know? 
towards you but you know that it's a big deal okay so let's see here we have the ace of pentacles just like we were talking about from the beginning um here it is ace of pentacles in the upright so this is the family tree we also have the nine of pentacles as well in reverse that's coming up tell me more tell me more for this energy Ooh. all right so you have the king of wands let's see the nine of cups the chariot and one more and then you have the nine of swords in reverse so you have the nine of swords and the ten of swords in reverse that is ruled by you gems you felt like you know what you're just going to remove this energy from your life the mental and physical agony the stress the depression the anxiety taking care of yourself better eating better just having a fresh start because this is not you this is not your energy you're freeing yourself from this this is what i'm getting like you're freeing yourself from this energy from pain physical pain mental challenges like you're snapping out of it okay um for those of you this person that you were stressed about is coming back okay so let's just go over it we have the ace of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles so you lost a lot of yourself within this relationship your identity who you are what you wanted to do i just feel like you had given this person a lot of yourself and they were very heavy within the devil and also within the emperor energy so definitely seem like you're taking back some kind of leadership or you're trying to be in charge of this okay um there's some kind of passion that's coming back to you even though there was a lot of loss here when it comes to stability i'm seeing that you are working on yourself when it comes to the desires of your heart um your success and i'm seeing like you're going to get it now another thing that i'm picking up that this person is rushing in very quickly with this king of wands energy being here plus you have the chariot next to it plus you have the, the ten of the, the nine of cups excuse me which i just feel like there's a lot of like wanting to really still make you happy here um but i feel like this is a lot to do with you as well i'm going to tap into this person's energy and see what this is all right but I'm just seeing like this person is coming towards you as soon as you decide to like not live in fear anymore. It's like you release the energy and you know what you want for yourself. And so, of course, you release a lot of positive vibration in this person, like your wishes. Some of you wanted this person to come back. And because you have done that, this person is coming back. So in cancer i'm seeing cancer when it comes to the chariot what else there's a lot of a lot of oh my god there's a lot of different elements here but major arcana cancer Aries, um capricorn pisces gemini aquarius taurus leo scorpio within the wheel of fortune there's, so there's a lot of elements here so let's just see what's the six of pentacles about i'm seeing the sun within leo <laughs> so this separation happened because it was unbalanced but not only that you, because of the unbalanced energy you became to not be yourself smiling less aging a lot faster you know just wasn't yourself and you weren't happy within this energy and that's what occurred you know this unbalanced situation you had to make a choice for yourself here i feel like a lot of you tapped out of you know being involved with this person and i'm just getting like 
checked out energy. Because the sun is in reverse here. Tell me more. The two of cups. Mutual feelings. Oh my. Okay now. So we have two different elements here. We have the lovers in reverse. And then the two of cups in the upright. So this person is with someone else. This is what I'm picking up. This is what you were unhappy about. It seems like this person is married. This is what I'm getting. This person is married or tied to someone else. Or they have a deep contract with someone else. And they still love this person. This is a cancer energy. And here they are coming back to you. But what is going on here? Tell me about this to a cup. This is getting very weird real quick. The six of swords here. It's like I'm seeing like they're moving towards what? Tell me more. It's like they're making a decision, like a transition happened. Okay. Like it didn't work out, the two of cups. Oh, wow. I don't feel like this person broke up with the Two of Cups. I feel like the Two of Cups just didn't work out for them. Like, they got dumped because it's like whatever they planned with this Two of Cups didn't happen, didn't take place. Tell me about the Devil's Energy. The Three of Swords... Three of Swords energy in reverse. <sighs> wow. So this person is saying that they're trying to actually forgive someone that broke their hearts because I'm seeing the Three of Swords in reverse. So this is why they chose to try to get out of this toxic environment here within the devil's energy because of someone that broke their hearts and they're trying to release that they're not trying to live or hold on to that anymore tell me more oh this energy is the five of swords constant stabbing in the back and i feel like it's people that are close to this person and they just can't deal with this anymore that lifestyle tell me about the wheel of fortune Wow, the six of wands energy, the victory. Um, even though the wheel of fortune is in reverse here, okay, I just feel like there's another lesson that you need to learn within the wheel of fortune so you can get to the victory, so you can get to that six of wands energy. Um, like I said before, okay, it's like you're that you're so close. This is what I'm hearing. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Actually, no, the Seven of Pentacles. You know what I mean, angels. Um, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it was a missed opportunity. That investment, you were getting prepared. A lot of you were doing a lot of work behind the scenes to get things right. And everything that you touched when it comes to this foundation or this relationship just did not work out. And I'm seeing like this was a burden for you. It was so much that you gave up. You gave up on this. Tell me about this lovers in Gemini. Gemini energy. Why is this lovers in reverse? The queen of swords. It's like you were done with the nonsense here. There was no communication. And you were done with the nonsense. This is what I'm getting. Tell me more. You have the two of wands. Yeah, this person had a choice and they made the wrong one over and over again. This is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Wow. It's like when they made that choice everything just was on delay like these are things that you're supposed to experience with each other like fast-paced movement of 
opportunities coming in, right? Levels of love. I still see the pentacles. So this is someone that you have built something with because they're still feeling like they have some kind of right to this. This Ace of Pentacles, this could be the home that you're having a lot of financial issues with, but they still feel like they have some kind of right to that. Tell me about this Emperor. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is mean financially. They're having like, they're like avoiding you when it comes to stability. It's very hard to get anything out of this person when it comes to help tell me about the ten of swords the hangman in reverse it's like this person is watching you wanting you to put your your tail between your legs to come and see them or come and break the ice but they have this egonistic energy like they're not doing it pisces energy twice over tell me more we also have Saj energy temperance divine timing the holy spirit is like give this time because they're watching <laughs> it's like this person is also going through some kind of healing process and it's going to take time too um so i don't feel like you should wait for this person i don't feel like that tell me about the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles Ooh. wow the seven of swords you lost everything because this person lied about certain things. And the lies are still, like, there. And there was a lot of negativity about this. Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo energy. There's a lot of things that was said. Like, these lies, they can't... It's like I'm seeing, like, this person can't redo it. Like, mm -mm. These lies were deep. I'm getting um, a negative, negative force. Ooh, wow. I just realized you have the emperor, the devil, and the magician in reverse. Some of you are definitely ill here. We have the high front as well, that this could be a marriage. And it's like... It's like they want to make they want to be in charge of this this is what i'm seeing like they want to be in charge of where this marriage is gonna go tell me about the, the nine of swords wow you have the star in reverse too <laughs> you have the star in reverse aquarius energy there's a lack of hope faith some of you are just losing hope in faith and saying this is helpless hopeless energy and so because of that it's like when it comes to this was a very slow process especially for this person to return on the back of the deck you do have the manipulation so this person is not joy and candy this is what i'm seeing like this person is definitely emotional manipulator um I feel like their emotions are very heightened and they're like telling people their side of the story and not so the truth about why this had ended. Angel Michael is also behind the situation. Look how this looks like Simba, the Lion King. Do you see that? <laughs> A little bit. Um, but I'm seeing this in reverse and Hmm. So whoever that resonates with, Simba the Lion King or Simba. Does that lion look like Simba or Mufasa? <laughs> but I'm seeing that Angel Michael is saying to have strength within the lion, within the, the, the strength card, because there's going to be so much coming up for you. I'm also seeing judgment here, like things were being called in the future. So just like I said, you know, the angels are watching everything. You know, so nothing is going to be swept under the rug. This is what I'm seeing here. So let's use another deck. This one is a little slippery. 
I notice. And then this is also slippery, so the combination is just not, not going too well. But beautiful deck, beautiful deck. Um, we're gonna tap into this person's energy solo. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Angel Guides Ancestors. It's gonna shuffle. So. Okay, so what's the connection here? What's the connection with this person's energy? With gems. No contact. What's the advice for gems? The advice for gems. Call it on your soulmate. A lot of you feel like this is your soulmate, or a lot of you are in some kind of denial that this is not your soulmate. Let's see. It says the sun energy is needed, playfulness. This is gone. Like you guys don't laugh enough, have fun enough, run around the car, run play tag together, be childful, youthful, free, make the effort. This is what I'm also seeing here. This um connection is way too serious. You deserve love. This was love at first sight for some of you. You have the coop the cupid bow here. Like this was love at first sight. Like as soon as you saw this person, you just knew. And then let's see the last one. This could be the one. Wow. This could be the one. And then on the back of the deck, it says honeymoon. Like you guys didn't take a honeymoon or this is needed or you guys need to get away from everything. But I feel like since we're getting like marriage energy for some of you, like... Because the way this person is looking, I don't know. It's like you could need to go on a honeymoon or something like that. Like you didn't take one. I got that in the last read. I don't know if it was you, though. But let's see here. Tell me more. What is the energy here? <sighs> Out of space. I kind of figured because when I was reading your card, you were basically checked the hell out of this relationship. Out of space, out of mind. That's what I'm getting. Out of space, out of mind. Like you're checked out. You're just focused on your, your divine God. You know, things that you want for yourself, your success. You feel like this person has accomplices, like this person is working with other people that turned against you. This could be their family or your family, but you just feel like they have a part to, to play in what's going on within the situation of how fast this relationship went downhill. I'm seeing a lot of you, um, including your grandparents or you're going back to your grandparents. I feel like this is a peaceful place. I feel like these energies that are coming up is people that you haven't seen in a while as well. Um, it's like you're going back, you know, to where it first started for you. Uh, it's like you're trying to get away. Out of mind, out of sight. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're trying to get away here. Needing? Why am I keep getting needing? This might not be a comfortable relationship for you right now. I'm just getting like, it just looks so serious. No smile, no youth. It's like your souls are looking like this right now for both of you. And this separation is well needed. I feel like people are concerned because they hear from the grapevine that this person is talking about you, wanting you back, coming back home or something like that. And they don't like how you are with this person. So it's like I'm just seeing you having a sit down or this could be a meeting about you and this person as well together. But I feel like it's more like I'm just seeing closer people to you because it's a calm situation. I feel like you're lost 
right now as well wow look at that runaway energy it's like you're trying to get away i'm telling you and you're just lost because you don't know where to go or where to start within this wooden area you feel like if you take off you might not end up far enough you know like you might just get lost like everything looks the same or everywhere look the same like it's going to be the same conclusion for you or the same ending you feel trapped you feel trapped within this connection and you've been nothing but good to this person very loyal but you feel trapped a lot of you still have ties to this person that's what i'm getting and a lot of you still have responsibilities with this person it's like you're trying to make something up so you can have a head start but this person is always watching you i'm also seeing celebrity so a lot of you are like it's either you know like celebrities but i just feel like with this energy like it's like your status has changed you have changed your money have changed look at that your money have changed it's like you're wasting more money these days to make other people happy there's drugs also involved here i'm also seeing jealousy as well and it's like someone is trying to take advantage of you and i'm seeing like they're trying to plan to kind of control you <clears throat> i'm seeing jealousy drugs poison and money which is crazy so you can't even eat from this person you cannot even eat from this person you have to be careful you can't eat from nobody <laughs> than the fast food restaurants because it's like they're trying to plan something behind your back here and it's all about you moving on or dating someone else or dating someone that they want i don't know what this is coming from it's like you're trying to get away so because i don't see that this, this meeting being a problem i'm seeing like everybody's calm and collective and doing their research here but as some of you could have frenemies too because i'm seeing like someone here is just but your relationship is not showing up as something that is very healthy but what what looks on what looks healthy to some people might not be healthy and what looks unhealthy might look healthy to others so but i'm seeing like your facebook or your page your social medias are being watched oh my gosh it's super crazy so let's just see what this person's energy is about energy is so low so let me just shuffle this and get into their energy by itself and then let's see what this is all about too energy that's coming out for Gemini's what is this person energy when it comes to the connection alone like what's their thoughts on this relationship alone what's their thoughts on this relationship alone thank you to God Holy Spirit and to God's ancestors what is this person's energy for Gemini alone okay so it says 
let your friends help you so i feel like this person is definitely including their family their friends to see their opinions they're not too sure let go of control issues it's like they really i feel like this person realized that they need to let go of control issues they need to let go and let god okay or, or their friends might have like whispered that in their ears but i'm seeing that coming up like they also need to make the effort it's so strange that you had make the effort and they also need to make the effort when it comes to this connection so it's like I was getting very prideful energy. I was getting like this person doesn't want to put their their tail between their legs and hmm, make the first step here. It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And it's crazy how you were calling in your soulmate and this person is being told like, warning, um, this might be your person now. And then you had this could be the one so i'm seeing codependency as well so this person is saying that this relationship feels very codependent and there's a lot of deception okay so no one knows each other here it's like you're wearing a mask they're wearing a mask like no one knows anybody's true face so oh this is an issue this is an issue it's like they're saying that they don't know your true face. Let's see. Tell me more. Ooh, so this person is saying that the lies are all out and about. I'm also seeing like this person coming in and taking the lead as well. Okay, about what? I'm just seeing a lot of release here. It's like whatever happened in the past with them, I'm seeing like they're releasing that. So this person is coming back with like a light heart. I am seeing them being afraid of what you might say or what you might do. We have the four of pentacles we also have the seven of wands and then we have the wheel of fortune in the upright so this is a little different from your energy the wheel of fortune is in the upright for them meaning that they have learned something here from you that's like i pulled before with the three of uh pentacles energy like there was a, a lesson that I have learned, but there is so much more to to learn. It's like you you both need to learn from from each other for some reason. But I'm seeing like lies here are definitely out, and there is a lot of healing, letting go. This person is going to show up at your doorstep, but again, having this control twice over within the Four of Pentacles plus the Seven of Wands oh my it's like they have other people that are involved with this that they don't want to get it's like they don't want these people to fall out of control it's like they're trying to control these people and i'm seeing like this person with the four of pentacles when it comes to the stability like they have to control that because it seems like this person has other things going on it's like they're not 100 percent free or available that's what i'm getting here so this is why this person is not around a lot. And then I'm getting that Wheel of Fortune energy that there's going to be... some kind of good vibe coming towards you, positive vibe coming towards you, um, or coming towards this situation, coming back into their energy because this is their energy i'm seeing gemini aquarius taurus leo and scorpios this person is very overwhelmed and it's like they got caught up this is what i'm seeing here they have to make a decision between two things 
and I feel like they got caught up within the situation there's like this star energy again in reverse on both ends like you both are like losing faith within each other and this person is talking about being stuck or being in their heads as well and they're still stuck in being in their heads and it's all about you it's all about telling you the truth like they don't know how to start this or how this conversation needs to like come along they're just in their heads about you really stuck and afraid they feel like you're going to reject them it's like they can reject you but they can't handle rejection what's what's going on they want a future here so there's a complete there's an incompletion so ooh, yep this person is coming back confirmation and then you have gemini aquarius taurus leo and scorpio again it's just crazy how there's going to be some kind of positive vibration when it comes to karma um within this person's energy but i'm also seeing a completion as well so this could also be a cycle like there's something else that you guys need to learn from each other that's what i'm getting there's something else they need to work from each other like learn from each other okay so wow wow this is different so they have the magician in the upright compared to your read that it was showing up in reverse and i'm also seeing the nine of cups the seven of cups energy as well so tell me more you have the moon energy which is pisces the nine of pentacles and you have the justice so libra energy talk about the justice oh my so you're gonna receive i just feel like well this is this person's energy but they're gonna tell you the truth yeah okay thank you holy spirit they're gonna tell you the truth because the truth is neither the scales is also going to be even out so they're planning all of this it's like they have so many things that's going on that's what i'm getting like they know that they wasted your time here a lot of you have been cheated on by multiple people or this is this their family members that is just going to always be in their lives that cost you hell because i'm seeing the seven of wands like this person is holding back the seven of wands and it's like people and they're trying to like give these people everything that they want or ask for to keep the peace they're trying to be respectable um but i feel like they can't do this forever they're gonna lose control they're just trying to have this form of control right now to like every to make everything run smoothly but this affect their relationship and i'm seeing positive vibration like they're taking back their power something about taking back their power manifestation prayer just you utilizing every little thing that little skills that they have to to be you know successful and they are they're doing very well but i'm also seeing secrets here that's killing this person <laughs> it's killing them like they have a they've been keeping secrets from you and you know that as well this person looks at you as a nine of pentacles so they feel like you're doing very well for yourself okay and they want to tell you the truth the moon i just keep going back to the moon it's like there is still time within the moon energy the moon is in the upright it's like a warning like this person is getting a warning to do the right thing before a disaster happens tell me about the seven of uh, swords energy seven of swords energy for this person's energy coming through okay this is going to come out 
okay the two of swords so this is very difficult you know it's crazy how you have the seven of wands the seven of swords the seven of cups you have way too many people here multiple choices again i just feel like the way they're looking at this is like i'm not overwhelmed with this but i just feel like this could be their people and it, the way they're showing this is like they know these people been in their lives for such a long time that they don't know what else to do they don't know what else to do they don't they can't break this bridge so this is like making promises to you that they can't keep and this is what this is making promises to you that they can't keep they know they can't keep this so this was empty promises but they still want a future they want a shot tell me about the three of swords again seven of swords three of swords oh my god so <laughs> it's like they're saying like past in the past energy there was something that happened like the past right because they're talking about the heartache that happened in the past and they're giving me the seven of swords and the truth didn't come out because the seven of swords is in the upright with this one the truth did not come out and they had to just release or heal or you had to heal or release without knowing the truth but now in the present moment thus all the lies came out tell me about the um the eight of wands energy wow this person lost everything it's like you help them spend time with them nurtured them and they just like left you hot high and dry this is what i'm getting left you high and dry tell me about the two of pentacles the nine of wands trials and tribulations and it's crazy funny because they're saying that you still want to be with them <laughs> this nine of wands being in the upright like there was a lot of protective energy here there was a lot of trials and tribulations but in the midst of all that history they're saying that you still want to be with them because they still want to be with you and you're still protecting them like they're still protecting you and they're just like taking this protection as you're not telling everybody what truly happened between you and them like you're keeping some things to yourself um and they're like oh you're you're, you're still protecting me you still want me you're not letting people see them for who they truly are because this person is wearing a mask or they're saying that there was a lot of deception here okay this person was wearing a fake mask like you don't even know who this person is a lot of you were shocked to see who this person was but it was too late so tell me about the star in reverse okay three of wands so you and this person been separated for a while or they're saying like oh my god this has been such a long time and i'm exhausted like this is just when is this going to end when is this separation going to end this could also be physical or mental distance or emotional distance but this person is all in their heads though about you tell me about this incompletion incompletion tell me you have the seven of swords like this is necessary like this split that happened between you and this person was so necessary um they felt like they needed this to understand the incompletion to understand what's happening to miss you that's what they're saying like they wouldn't it wouldn't happen any other way they wouldn't feel this way about you any other way that's what they're saying here so all right well tell me about the nine of cups oh we have two that flew out what's on the back wow another six of wands energy 
in the future too. Be careful with your money. Be careful with just putting everything on pause for this person since they are coming back and forgetting about yourself. Like you tend to lose yourself when you're with this person. And it's crazy because they look at you very logically like, oh my God, you have so much going on for you. Just like how you had the six of wands that came up within your read, the success, the victory. This person knows where you're going, <laughs> okay? So be very careful. I feel like they are going to choose you within the justice by telling you the truth. But <laughs> you need to be very careful, you know? Um, the nine of cups is the king of pentacles and so they are going to invest in you this time the king of pentacles and the seven of pentacles like they're preparing they've been planning this they've been prepping for this there is this is a change this is happening and they're about to give you the stability that you always wanted because they wasted your time in the past so now in the future energy, when on uh, the present moment, they're like really picking up like, like I need to make this right for some reason, like something happened, like they woke up, you know, let's see what this person's animal energy is, no contact read for this person who's coming through. Thank you, Divine God. Let's see. Oh, the lion. Pride. Oh my gosh. Pride, you guys. This person is very prideful. I think I need to turn it this way. Uh oh. Very prideful energy. <laughs> Angel Michael, too, it's like having this person to have some kind of courage to like put that pride aside and really find a calm manner to solve things with you. Have a little courage. This is what I'm seeing here. And laugh a little bit more. Have fun. Be a little bit cheerful. <laughs> this person is just giving me serious vibes. Something about this person is very special. I don't know if you want to hear that, but I'm just getting that. Like, Angel Michael wanted me to say it, so I'm saying it. Okay. I'm just seeing, like, this lion has a just this light behind him. It's like this person is giving me special vibes. This, they could be very spiritual and don't know how to deal with it. And this is why they're just in their heads all the time because they're just receiving so much information and don't know what to do with it. Um, let's see. I'm getting the squirrel as well. The squirrel energy is like preparing for something, okay? Getting ready, preparation, okay? Like for the season, getting all what you need, what you require to make something very successful. And this person is giving me that energy, resourcefulness. Like they're getting a lot of things together um, to be with you. So this person has been thinking about you a lot. Thinking about the future. Thinking about you. Anaconda. Whatever is unstable within this person's life, like they're going to try to fix this. But of course, this is a snake. So, you know... Uh, well a type of snake this person might be moving very slowly for you but for those of you who are waiting patience and virtue okay tell me more then ooh, ooh, i'm seeing a, a surprise or a gift like something that you're about to give birth to like well this could be this person wants to have kids like the angels are saying like you're about to receive some kind of gift if you're not careful with this person because this person wants to have kids this is a transition so listen to like a new transition within the bat that's taking place here so listen to your heart and listen to your intuition okay if this is something that you want to do if you feel like it's not the right time this person also loves you i'm just getting all this like they really want to nurture this firefly it's 
something about their childhood. Like they just wanted to have a better childhood than what they had. They want to have children. I don't know if this person have children already for some of you, but it seems like a lot of you have contracts. Um, so a lot of you could have kids and wondering if this person do want to have kids or the kids are important and yeah. Family is important to this person, but this person has a lot of toxic behavior that they're trying to get control of as, as well that came into your energy. So you're talking about the addiction, you're talking about the toxic vibration, the way they talk to you, the manipulation, emotional manipulation, uh, mental manipulation, telling you sub stories about their childhood. All right, so I'm being called to another right here. Bahia. Let's see what we can get. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The angels are together. It's the energy. Ooh, betrayal is coming up twice and not saying a damn word about it. This happened in the past. Like, they brought this up, you know? Like, there was something that happened between you and this person in the past, and you didn't find out the truth, but you had suspicions. And you had to, like, release this, and they had to release this and heal from this, like, the heal this relationship and move, move forward. But now those same exact lies are coming through. I'm also seeing that this commitment is still on the, the table for those of you. So this could have happened. But there was an emotional or some kind of distance from you and this person for a while. I'm even seeing for some of you, this person even left you and went with someone else and that didn't work out. But I'm seeing betrayal. Betrayal, like, <laughs> like this person just abandoned this relationship let's see what that card says it says here deception dishonesty getting caught up yeah i felt like this person did get caught up with the two of pentacles like they don't know what to do like they don't have a choice <laughs> i'm also seeing fire energy here secrets can be confirmed within the moon energy holding back the truth wanting to tell you don't know how to do it because they're afraid they're afraid everything is here the angels are saying that there's a decision that needs to be made here like this person have two different parts like they're at their crossroads in life and they need to make a decision because they have more than one love look at this options look at this decisions options more than one love that's what it says here i never even read this on the bottom before I oh my gosh they have more than one love y'all I gotta remember this Aries Leo or Sag energy more than one love that is crazy this is why there's it's so hard for them to make a decision It's so hard for them to make a decision. I'm also seeing celebration. So some of you could be pregnant. Good karma, party gives, karmic balance. You have good karma here. So be careful. I'm seeing you guys are celebrating something. Maybe even getting back together because this person is clearly coming back. I'm also seeing healing here. Like having that acknowledgement. Like you need to take a time out or you need to like really take take yourself seriously like put yourself first toxicity here i'm also seeing negative energy manipulation narcissist capricorn aries leo scorpio at times who knows hmm. a very toxic person that is making you feel you know because earlier i got like emotional manipulation and that's what a narcissist does to make you feel like you are alone, making you feel like no one is 
loving you no one wants you no one wants to be with you you never find anybody else and all of your friends are just like on their side about you like they're like making up stories about you to make you feel so low about yourself they're saying in the next 24 hours you're going to get a call or a text from this person now this energy because i want to be very clear because some people are like oh i don't get a call or a text first of all get a personal read in because these are all general but if your energy is a negative energy just know that this person the person that you're thinking about the person that you're resonating with within this read is going to take longer to show up because you're negative negative. and that's this period positive vibration only happens when you're positive the energy flows faster this is why positive people hang out with positive people this is only why this is why rich people hang out with rich people because the energy of that like flows is there's no hiccups there's no slow emotions everything is it's like they're being very selective it's a reason it's a secret it's not complicated you guys if you're going to arbor negative people in your life your life is going to be negative even though you're preaching left and right that i'm a positive person but you have negative friends you can't even call your friends because they're going to be like so negative you know be we all went through that come on we all went through that so um but yeah 24 hours this is what they're saying 24 hours there's going to be a call a text um some kind of confession what look at the distance confirmed see it says here emotional or physical distance between you and this person this could also be long distance um like this person moved away with another person oh my gosh and that relationship did not work out that's what i'm getting that relationship did not work out so let's see tell me more holy spirit tell me more a lot of you are definitely mirroring each other or doing a lot of shadow work it says look at them as if they are you so going through a lot of shadow work here mirroring yourself or seeing yourself through this person a lot of you could be like balancing some kind of karmic effect of you being like this in a past life and it's just being understood is this that the energy is like you're dealing with this person and the way they're acting so ridiculous right you're finding them to be very ridiculous um because this is how you were in a past life but it's just so the soul could understand and i feel after this like the wheel of fortune it, it, this is it's, it's 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 this person doesn't have to entertain this 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 energy with you anymore and I feel like it's going to be now it's like a calm energy of positivity. And this is why this person is turning into a lot of positive energy. They have the wheel of fortune. They have the magician within the upright. Meantime, you were like looking at this person as negative within the devil, negative within the emperor. What else? Negative within the magician in reverse. I feel like even the wheel of fortune was in reverse at one point for you. Or something like that hopefully I'm not wrong but because it's i'm in his energy or sh her energy or you know right now so um i don't really remember your cards but <sighs> hmm the nits of it is what i remember so i'm seeing that you're going to have to retreat i just feel like this could be you taking some time to talk to this person as well it says here get get away growth travel new experience i feel like you and this person might be trying to retreat because every time i pull cards from this one i get that retreat as a couple so i feel like you're trying to get away from the noise a lot of you could still have some kind of trip planned with this person as well 
Um, I don't know. I was feeling like there's something that's going to take place, like getting away together. Yeah, you're going to be really happy. I'm seeing you're finding yourself again within the sun. And I'm also seeing that you're really devoted to this person. It says lifetime partner or life partner. Yeah, a lot of you really thought that this person was going to be a life partner. Okay, because... Or grow old together. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm also seeing Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus being a factor here. On the back of the deck, the angels are saying, hey, hey, gems, you just need to take a step back and relax. Okay, trust your guides. We are always there. <sighs> My God, trust your guides. We're always there. All right, so let's just see what the divine messages has for you. And then we're going to close, okay? What is the divine messages? here what's the divine messages for Gemini any advice Holy Spirit for Gemini's any advice for Gemini's any advice for Gemini's ooh it says balance and truth is coming number six so Again, you know, just relax. <laughs> just relax. It's like going on vacation, man. Take a rest. The Four of Swords. You don't need to entertain this right now if you don't want to. Because things are happening behind the scenes when it comes to divine, when it comes to the God up above, all right? So, let's see. Yeah, this person is coming home. I feel like a lot of you definitely settled for someone that was a safe choice, or maybe this was a friend, or you started off as friends. This person made promises to you, and now you're in a bind. Um, some of you got married. I'm getting close deal here. At times, this person was very, you know, they had gratitude when it comes to you, or they was very sincere. And I'm now seeing that you're taking this journey alone. So I'm getting like the horse energy. Like you're just taking this journey alone or you just need to be by yourself for a while. I'm seeing also your contract, past life contracts. So cosmic correction, um, karmic partnership, and on balance energy. So you're here to correct a lot of things within your contract and this exactly what i picked up with this person like this was how you were acting in the past life very difficult and now this person is in your life being very difficult and it's just a balance like i'm just getting like a balance that you guys need to like experience together so you can move on after this all right so this person is coming home can we do five more and then we're going to close. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guides, Ancestors, Four Gems. Ooh, Angel Michael showing up. Angel Michael being showing up all day. So keep the hope alive. You know how we had that star energy over and over again? This is not hopeless. This is not helpless. Keep the hope alive. Yellow butterflies, you guys. If you're seeing it as a confirmation for you, I'm also seeing Angel Michael within the line again. 111, strength energy, Leo energy. Um, and we had that. We had that earlier. We have it here too within the lion energy. It's like he's just making his debut today. And then, then you have him here too. 888 444 angel numbers. Some of you are married. All right, they're saying that please be fearless, bold, spirited, and brave. Look at the nine. You're like receiving information, downloads, and it's crazy because you had, where is it? You had the journey where it says here, I don't know if you can see it, it says divine downloads. So you're going to be receiving that. 
you're going to be receiving that on your journey ahead like this separation even this person said it this person was like this this separation between you and i was definitely needed they wouldn't have came back and appreciated this relationship without this separation it's like they've been through something and they're saying okay i get it i get it universe i see what you're trying to tell me like no it's not going you know, on the other side i had a good thing and it's like this something clicked within this person and they're like you know what when i get back to my person i'm going to invest everything within my person so you guys are a spiritual healer or you have a lot of gifts within you you need to activate them life is going to be so much better for you okay yellow yellow butterflies why can't i speak why can't i speak angel michael 111 angel gabrielle the well in the house of the divine love gabrielle okay again this playful message here where is it i think you had it before and here it is again it says playfulness freedom lightful youthful um childful happy as i'm doing this reading you guys i just saw like little souls like in this coming into the cards just now on the side of my eye i'm like what is going on <laughs> but i know it's just the divine like blessing the cards and being here and you know the angels doing that what they're supposed to do but i just saw like sprinkle of stardust i don't know on the cards this is so crazy as i'm reading it i was like okay all day today i've been seeing like crazy things you know i know i'm not alone like it's i'm not i'm not afraid of anything because i'm awake i'm spiritually awake when you're not spiritually awake little things will scare you but you know when you're spiritual awake you just know how to handle it you you st if you if you feel scared you just stand up for yourself okay they're not gonna stick around unless evil spirits don't stick around unless you have a evil nick of you inside you okay or you did evil things all right so yeah but we're not gonna talk about all of that but i just saw a little sprinkle happening here like this card's being blessed like my 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 guys are just here and they're just like blessing i just saw like stardust like i like it looks like little souls going through the cards i'm just like what is going on as i'm reading the cards really weird really weird but this is what i have for you i'm gonna stop it here love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in your next one everything should be in the description box you guys so check out the description box for personal reads and everything like that a thousand likes on the channel someone will be chosen in the description box well no in the comment section for a free personal read i changed it you guys because i don't feel like this channel needs this channel is way too successful to be 200 likes 300 likes it's a thousand. If we make it, someone would be chosen in the comment section for a 30 minute, 30 minute free session. If not, cool. All right. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.